an emotional start to the long-awaited ghost ship warehouse trial. KPX 5 reporter Julia Goodrich is live at the Alameda County Courthouse in Oakland with the opening remarks that brought the courtroom to tears. Jules? Yes, it certainly was emotional, especially when prosecutors started out by naming all of the victims, showing their pictures, and then even reading some text messages right before they died in the fire, some of them reading, I love you and I'm going to die. Now, late this afternoon, the defense attorney started their opening remarks. Uh, Harris's attorney saying his client is innocent. The prosecution started its opening statement by showing pictures of each of the 36 people who died in the warehouse fire. The prosecution saying when people go to a show, they expect to leave it safely. But at this venue, there was no notice of smoke and flames, no time to escape the smoke, and no adequate exits. The prosecution telling jurors Derek Almena, the so-called master tenant, hired an unlicensed contractor to transform the space he was renting. Supporters of Max Harris have been at nearly every court proceeding. Harris was the executive creative director of the collective. Each day that Max Harris is in jail, we're ignoring the root of the problem and what could have prevented this awful, horrible tragedy. In his opening remarks this afternoon, Max Harris's attorney, Curtis Briggs, said the evidence will show Harris should not be on trial. He said, quote, when people were running out of the warehouse during the fire, Max Harris was running in to save people. The defense also arguing fire investigators didn't preserve the evidence. And then to fail to adequately rule out or rule in arson, uh, it was a major misstep, and it's the reason why they didn't solve this particular crime. Now, Tony Serra, the defense attorney for Derek Almena, will be starting his opening remarks tomorrow. There was a little bit of a delay this afternoon when the judge had made a statement saying that someone had possibly illegally communicated with one of the jurors, possibly at lunchtime, maybe someone that was in the uh, courtroom at the time. They are not supposed to make contact with the jurors, and we're going to see just how serious of a consequence that may be, if any. And we'll be back here again tomorrow following up as Tony Serra makes his opening remarks. In Oakland, Juliet Goodrich. KPIX 5.